And today we end in Latin America, where Mexico has announced plans to build what it aims to be the region's most powerful supercomputer, a bold step designed to propel the country into the rapidly evolving world of artificial intelligence and data-intensive research. The machine, named Cuatlicue, after the Aztec goddess, will represent the Earth and the source of life that will have a processing capacity of 314 petaflops, officials said on Wednesday. Now that makes it more than seven times as powerful as the current regional leader, Brazil's privately owned Pegaso, which operates at 42 petaflops. President Claudia Scheinbaum, speaking to reporters, emphasized that it would be a public supercomputer, a supercomputer for the people. She said the facility will allow Mexico to perform calculations and run AI models at scales previously impossible in the country, providing new tools for science, climate research, and technological innovation. We're really excited. The Kuatlikoi supercomputer will begin construction next year. We are deciding on the location. It's going to allow Mexico to fully embrace the use of artificial intelligence and data processing that today we don't have the capacity to do because we don't have enough computing power. Now, construction is scheduled to begin in January and is expected to take 24 months at a cost of 6 billion pesos, which is approximately $326.6 million, according to the director of Mexico's Digital Transformation Agency. The supercomputer's applications will span a range of public-focused projects, including climate prediction, crop planning, and harvesting strategies, water management, and energy and oil sector modeling. The initiative also places Mexico in the global race for computational supremacy, supremacy where AI systems increasingly rely on massive computer, computing power to handle large data sets and complex simulations. The project signals a broader recognition in Latin America that investment in digital infrastructure is not only a scientific necessity, but also a strategic move to foster economic growth and innovation. Today, artificial intelligence can be very useful, for example, for weather forecasting. We have a lot of information that the National Weather Service's computers don't have the capacity to process in days or even months. Details on the supercomputer's final location have not yet been announced, but officials stress that its presence will mark a turning point and Mexico's technological capabilities. As nations worldwide continue pushing the limits of speed and scale, Mexico's latest entry may not yet rival others, but it promises to put Latin America squarely on the map in an era of AI-driven discovery. And for the region, the message is abundantly clear. The race for computing power is not only about speed, it's also about possibility. I wore the crown of a revolutionary. I promised to lift my nation. I claimed to fight imperialism. I became the very thing I warned against. I funded militias across continents. I feared my own shadow. Some called me the King of Kings. History calls me something else the dictator. Who am I?